Hey folks, Talara here and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. As you can see, we just made it to the guild hall where we have to go and speak to Nine Fingers Keen and let her know everything that happened down in the sewers. So let's head down and see. Oh. Ah, you survived. Hi. Which means my employers are dead, I take it. Yep. No matter. Gives us a chance to talk. We've probably got some talking to do, yeah. My Zentarim stand ready to purge this place of everyone loyal to her. So all I need to know is, does that include you? Or not? Oh wow, okay, so she's gone full traitor. Um, why are you working for the cult? Do you know they want to enslave everyone? You fail to see the bigger picture. Yes, they offered us money, but more than that, they offered an opportunity. The money is a bonus. The Zentarim have been trying to crack Baldur's Gate for years, but Nine Fingers' grip has been too strong. And look what it's come to. Her guild is disorganized, undisciplined. The cult broke them in a matter of days, while my Zentarim still stands strong. A guild under our control can do what Nine Fingers failed to. Drive the Absolute out of the city once and for all. We're all on the same side. If there are spoils to be split afterwards, well, I'm sure there's enough to share. Well, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> as much as I would believe you, I think it is quite clear from all the times that we have interacted with you so far in our journeys that you will simply help whoever has the biggest coin purse. While Nine Fingers, I'm sure, isn't the most morally righteous girl around, she clearly cares not only for her people, but for this city. Versus you, Roa, all you care about is getting paid. So Gladys is going to say, enough talking. Either get out of my way or die. <laughs> a hero. There's a time for heroics, my friend. And a time for common sense. This was the latter. To arms, Centurion! The guild is ours! Once we clear out the vermin. All right, so we're getting right into it here. I gotta be honest, I did not expect to return to the guild hall to full out war. But hey, this is what you gotta do. Why did she just set herself and her friend on fire? Roa, I, I don't understand you, but anyway. This is quite the battle. There are a lot of people on both sides. Luckily for us on this side, we can actually attack some of the Zentarim from this great position here. All of Lady... the ladies, Nine Fingers bodyguards, are here and ready to fight. We definitely have the Zentarim outnumbered. There's only one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight of them, and what seems to be a lot more than of us. <laughs> I like our odds. Although she did just summon a wolf to uh, even the odds a little bit. <laughs> just as I spoke, they said, okay, you like these odds? Let me try to even them a little bit. All right, so I would jump down there, but we can't do that right now. Oh, we don't need to jump. I can just use that rope netting. Okay, so on our next turn, we'll do that for now. We'll just rain some arrows from above. Great work, Karlak. There's another lady, Lady Lockjaw, taking down another of the Zentrum. That's two down already. Yeah, I don't like your odds, folks. Down goes the wolf. This little guy is quite a monk. You got a lot of unarmed strikes in there. That's one class I would definitely like to try out in the future, is a monk type class. Just an unarmed, bare-fisted melee fighter I think would be a really cool build. Holy moly, how many attacks 
Does Gravedigger Kareen get in a row? That was a lot. Glad we're not up against him. Here comes another lady, Lady Flux. Taking down another Zenterim. Alright, well, you're up next. No time to waste. We get such great vantage here. You should be able to hit Roa Moon Glow with a few Eldritch Blasts. Which not only did great damage, but also knocked her down there, where it does even more damage. Because she had to fall from quite a distance. Alright, Jaharia. You're up next. Let's see. I'm gonna get you to shadow step right there. And then you can Hmm. Perhaps Thornwood? Nice. Um, you're losing, <laughs> Roa. I don't know if now's the time to say things like that. You are straight up losing this battle. No one on our side's lying down anytime soon. What path lies before me? Carlac. Just wondering, should we just get her to jump? Yeah, I think that's actually better. She just jumps down here. And then we can get some good hits in. Down goes one. And then let's get out of the fire. The ladies are everywhere. I mean, I already explained the reasons for choosing uh, Nine Fingers is side, but I think it's quite clear that that was the right side. Because her and her ladies mean absolute business. I am way more scared of them than they are than I am these random Zentrum. They seem disorganized versus the ladies are out for blood. A lot of players involved in this battle, though. This is definitely one of our biggest battles in terms of just the number of actors. Uh, Nine Fingers is down to four HP, so we should probably try to heal her. I'd rather her not die. Let's see, Will. Let you to hit this guy. Fish bait Erno. Down he goes. And then I want you to misty step over here. Reason being, I want to try to help out Nine Fingers if I can. Alright, Jahira, what can you do here? She might be able to help out as well. If we can Misty Step again up here next to where Will is, and then we hit Cure Wounds on Nine Fingers Keen. You owe me for this, girl. Right, Gladys. 
Again, my priority right now is trying to save Nine Fingers. Let's do. Th let's actually use this. I don't think we've used this ability yet. Dimension Door. Teleport yourself and up to one adjacent ally to a place you can see. The ally cannot be larger than medium. So the only question is: Is Carlac considered large? Nope. She's good. <laughs> let's get us all up here. Doing our best to protect the Guildmaster. Alright, he's down to three HP. Perfect, he's down. That should save the Guildmaster. You're welcome. Like I said, she definitely owes us for this. <laughs> I said earlier I don't do things for money, exclusively for money. But don't get me wrong, money certainly doesn't uh, doesn't go astray. I wouldn't mind a little reward. Yeah, you definitely need to do some cleanup. There is quite some... Uh, <laughs> Blood-soaked carpets around. He- this guy has a note on his body. Carson, Rugen is no longer reliable. I'm making you the Southern District Deliveries Manager effective next 10 day. Unless Rugen retires earlier than that, if you know what I mean. Sounds like there's some infighting. Moving in. Alright, I don't know if, um, the Guildmaster lost anybody here. I think everybody survived. Let's go speak to her. It's quite the fight. I suppose I should have seen that coming. Zentarim aren't known for their loyalty, but I thought the bastards would keep to their contract at least. I'm too nice for my own good, I suppose. But I was in a pit, and you helped pull me out. For that, I'm grateful. You'll have what guild blades I can give when the time to take the absolute comes. So, just tell me what you need to get us there. All right. Well, this is great. Um, I could use some information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Uh, how's your fight against the Absolute going? <laughs> Which part? The Stone Lords hollowed this place out. Half my crews are fled or in hiding. Orin's Faceless try to pierce my ranks every day. While Gortash's toy soldiers control the streets. When the Absolute's army arrives to wage war on the city, our best hope is to make sure they have no leaders in here willing to open the gates for them. That's what I'm working on, and you don't need to worry about the Stone Lord anymore. You know, you and Jahira are an odd pairing. How do you guys know each other? We've crossed paths over the years. Two hands trying to steer the city. Just not always in the same direction. Ugh, oh, can't stand Harpers as a rule, but Jahira is the exception. She's only really half a harper at most. You mean that as a compliment? I am sure. <laughs> the same way I'm not just the lowly thief, vagabond, and murderer the watch and peers would paint me as. I happen to be a fine singer, too. Hmm, maybe we should perform together sometime. You know, I'd like to know more about the guild, seeing as we're officially allies now, I guess. The guild is Oops, I skipped the thing. first bit of dialogue, my apologies. All the parts of the city the Watch don't want seen, so they push us to the far side of their law. But it's not the Watch that keeps the peace, or gives justice to any Baldurian who asks whether they can pay for it or not. It's us. If we take a little tribute in return, or tie strings of service to those we help, well, what of it? So long as we're working as one, it all runs quick, quiet, and clean. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably trust the guild over the City Watch and the Flaming Fist any day. The Watch, the Council, even the Parliament of Peers, they're the clean face they want the world to see. But the guild is the blood, the bone, the gristle, the ugly bits that actually make Baldur's Gate move. We'll be the ones still holding the gate when all those others have fled. What can I do to help you? You have done plenty. 
do any more, and the guild might have to take a special interest in you. Understood? Don't really like your tone there, ma'am, seeing as I literally saved your life. But all right, look, I'll take the support. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so we stopped the Zentrum from taking over uh, the guild here. And with that complete, I think the next step is for us to retire back to camp. We've had a lot of battles in the past little bit. We definitely need to rest up. And I particularly want to catch up and speak to our new friends. So I'll meet you guys back at camp. Jahira, Bu is trying his best to explain, but I still do not understand your anger. Do not hide behind your hamster, Ranger. You do not understand because you do not listen. We were the first to discover the cult. And if you had only waited, we might have marshaled our numbers and- Good does not wait for evil to button up its breeches. When it offers buttocks for the smacking, Minsk and Bo greet cheek with hand. <laughs> wow, okay. We just got to camp and clearly we are intruding upon a lover spat, if you will. <laughs> I'm gonna say nothing because we're getting some great sound bites here. Let's see what else they got for us. This mess falls on our heads, Minsk. The city under siege, its people poisoned by the cult. It all might have been avoided if you had just put your feelings aside and listened. Um, I mean, you are the only one Minsk listens to, remember? No, let's say this. Or the trail would have ended there. Instead of leading you to Catherick, the prism. Me. I have seen too much to believe destiny has taken our side. Blind luck, perhaps. The point remains. You meant well, Minsk. But you exposed the city to harm. You helped the cult spread. And worse, perhaps, than any of this. You forced me to leave you behind. But this is where Minsk falls short of the understanding, Jahira. What else is a berserker for if not to charge into danger ahead of his Waklaren? The Waklaren, wise women of Rashomon, each bonded to a berserker bodyguard for life. There is no higher title nor deeper bond in all of Rashomar custom. Waklaren? Minsk. I am not your witch. You are not my bodyguard. This is not some high lodge of your homeland. Bo agrees. You are a queer kind of witch. But this city is a queer place. And Minsk, you may have noticed, is sometimes strange himself. The titles matter not. Only this. When Minsk does as Minsk does, and charges in to make a mess, Jahira does as Jahira does, and finds a way to save us all anyway. <laughs> oh, that's actually kind of sweet. Oh, I fight alongside fools. <laughs> you hear that, Boo? We fight alongside our Clarin again. I am your friend, Ranger. I am not your witch. There will be no ointments or healing bombs. Not even for Boo? Anything for Boo. I think Jahira was missing the point there, that by him using that title, he clearly cares about her very much. But anyway, I think they are happy to see each other again, despite the spats. But I am super interested to speak with Minsk and Boo. First, we'll check in with Jahiria here. What is it, Cub? Oh, Cub? Huh. Not so much a term of age or affection as simple old habit. You object? No, I mean, I'm used to being the oldest one in the room, so it's kind of nice not being the oldest one and being called Cub. <laughs> can I get- can I call you Crow, though? Uh, the Cub and the Crow. <laughs> Sounds like a cautionary tale, as it probably should. I wanted to ask you something. Ask it. Um... You fought in the Temple of Baal before. Would you be able to find it again? You speak of a battle more than a century past. Baal's minions led us through a maze in the Undercity, older than Baldur's Gate itself. We paid little mind to the path ahead, let alone how we might return. 
or that we would return at all. Still, the Undercity shifts. We might search down there. Or better yet, find a ballast to lead us. Alright. That's it for now. Let's go speak to Minsk and Boo! Where is Boo? I see Minsk, but I don't see a hamster. My friend. Now we have settled the matter of the guild. I fear there is something I must tell you. You and Boo both. It may shock you both to know, but Minsk and this Stone Lord, they are one man. <laughs> the same one. Wow, yeah, so shock Minsk. I and that same one man <laughs> is Minsk. I appreciate him feeling like he has to come clean, but... <laughs> alas, alack, it cannot be so. Please, my friend. Your noble tears will not make the confessing any easier. <laughs> I wish to believe the Stone Lord's evil was the worm alone, attainting my thoughts with foul dung. But I see now the dung was within Minsk all along. So I wonder if Minsk can be a villain and Nine Fingers a hero. Must it be so with all creatures? Is there good and evil within us all? Wow, that was wise. Boo calls this nonsense. Less thinking of bad thoughts, says he, and more breaking of bad bones. But still, I would hear what you have to say on the matter, my friend. Minsk is like a big teddy bear, isn't he? A heart of gold and a head full of rocks. <laughs> I mean, hmm, I think everyone has the potential for good. It's just buried deeper in some, or lost along the way. <laughs> it is strange. A worm sits within my skull, twisting my thoughts. But it is you that have made Minsk see the world anew. You, my friend, are the true parasite. Uh, thanks. <laughs> good and evil in all. Let us go crack villainy skulls so that the virtue might leak free. <laughs> yes, Boo. I am becoming something of a philosophizer. <laughs> You're quite quick to call me friend. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? No, I mean, of course we're friends, friend. Then you have a sword at your side and a hamster at hand. Whenever you need them. What more could I ever ask for? Unless I die, or you die, or you do anything at all to upset Boo. Now, does Boo see a question in your eye, or just a parasite poking through? Ew. <laughs> okay, um, answer me honestly. What's with the hamster? Well, Boo, explain yourself. Clear enough? Um... Enough joking. Does the hamster actually speak to you? There is nothing jestful in the bond between a ranger and his companion. Before Boo, I was a typical berserker of Rashomon. Duty bound and full of my own seriousness. The problem with one so gazing of their navel, however... What? They're easily <laughs> ambushed. Brigand split my skull like a sodden wineskin. Oh. It was as I recovered that Boo first appeared. He told me that I had felt the great poking finger of justice, marking Minsk as its champion and Boo as my guide. As for the headache, well... <laughs> justice cannot always afford to be gentle. Interesting. So, you lost your mind and gained a rat. Understood. <laughs> the way you tell the tale, it sounds almost silly. Now, shall we away? My boots crave the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. <laughs> this guy is so entertaining. I'm just like, everything he says makes me laugh. I love it. Uh, I'd like to know a little more about you before we head out. I don't think you're half as dumb as you pretend. 
How dare you? Minsk pretends at nothing, half the way or otherwise. There is more than a little to know, I think. I am huge. <laughs> you are quite big, yeah. Um, tell me about yourself. Tell me about the Rashomon. Oh, my friend. There is much more to know of Minsk's homeland than he could ever put into words. Boo might fare better, but his home is far stranger than me. Well, in many ways, it is the very opposite of this city. The far side of Faerun, with empty plains, white forests, and peaks that pierce the very belly of the sky. But it is like the city, too. Here, it is loud with the daily wailing of people. In Rashomon, it is also loud, if you know where to listen. The Telthors, guardian spirits of every root, rock, and tree. Here in the sleeping lands, they are silent. But in the far north, they know how to speak still. Interesting. Sounds like an amazing place. Why did you ever leave? The first time, my Dajema. A warrior's quest of proving. Minsk quickly proved that quests do not always go as the stories say. After wandering away and some savings of the Sword Coast, Minsk returned to Rashomon to find a welcome fit for hamsters and heroes. The Iron Lord himself came to bear witness to Boo. Minsk of Rashomon, said he, your Tajema is done. Minsk politely disagreed. Dina here was dead, and so his Dajema could never be done. Then swear your service to me, Minsk of Rashomon, said he. Serve your land as your lord's chosen champion. Minsk politely disagreed. It was a little awkward, but he had already sworn his service to Boo. <laughs> Minsk of Rashomon, said he. You insult your iron lord. We will settle this matter in the circle of combat. It was only polite for Minsk to agree. After they carried the Iron Lord away, the Council of Witches gave Minsk a pack of provisions and said it would be best if he continued his adventures for a time. Yes, Boo, that was before we were stoned. Perhaps we are due a little homecoming when all of this is done, no? Man, what a tale. <laughs> Let's As talk about wish. something else. Who? Do you have much to say on the matter of something else? I hate that you can hear Boo, but you can't actually see him. I hear his cute squeaks, but I don't see his cute body. <laughs> you know, when our minds mingled, I saw some strange things. Oh, the mind of Minsk is a simple place. Of what strangeness do you speak? The memories resurface, a lifetime of battles blurring into one. A single constant is Minsk, launching into the fray no matter the foe, be they god, monster, or man. It seems just the barest glimpse of what the man before you has seen and done, but enough to know that he has no right to still be alive. Ah, wait! That look in your eye! I know exactly what visions of Minsk you have seen to cause you such wonder. My pants. <laughs> what? Price laced in the Rashomar style, so that a berserker might split skulls without fear of splitting bridges, too. They are fiendishly complex, but fear not for Minsk. With training, he has learned to master the many little knots. Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Right. Funny how they never made space for any of that in the songs. Triple threaded pants. The bard says boo. They conspire not to safeguard our trousers, but to rid the world of pants entire. <gasps> Conspiracy. So still that wandering eye, my friend. You have met your match in the tailors of Rashomon. <laughs> On this matter of sharing memories. I see no reason for us to worry at one another's words. If there is more we wish to know, we can simply ask, no? This guy is hilarious. <laughs> I 
Of course. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were uncomfortable with our new power. Is it power? True, it has made Minsk strong. Boo can scarcely get comfortable, so firm has my physique grown. But what does the parasite take in return? It is a horror wrapped in honey. Stay your sweet tooth, says Boo. See, he is smarter than we uh, <laughs> give him credit for. All right, Minsk. It was great to chat with you. Learn more about you, even though I didn't get to see Boo. And now it looks like our devil friend has something she wants to say. Hello, Mizora. Come for a chat. Well, you had a big, big exclamation point over your head, and now you have nothing at all to say, so... I uh, guess not. So quiet around here without Lazel, I feel really bad. Um, but hey, that's uh, just more reason that we gotta turn our attentions to going to rescue her. So now that we've helped out Jahira, helped out the guild, captured, not captured, rescued <laughs> Minsk, uh, and got our, some new allies on our side, I think it's time to focus on our own allies and figure out what we're going to do to save Lazel. We have two options. We can either try to find her, um, the lair where she's being kept, or we simply go the other way and do what was asked of us. So we're going to have to sort of think about our options here, but for now, we'll call it a day. Thanks everyone so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys back here again soon for another episode of Baldur's Gate 3.